I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go. Welcome to another episode of Gas and Go with Snow. We are at the San Diego International Auto Show. I was going through the San Diego Auto Museum's display and I ran across this beautiful Riviera and I got lucky because the owner and the builder, Jonathan, happened to be here. When I talked to him, he got as excited as I am about cars and wanted to talk to me on camera. Jonathan, thanks for That's doing good. this. No I problem appreciate at all. you, man. No problem. First of all, tell me what year and what are we looking at here? This is a 1963 Buick Riviera and it's obviously heavily modified. Uh, yeah. They didn't come factory with the LS motor. Yeah. So I did all the custom painting, all the pinstriping myself. Okay. Uh, got the murals done uh, through a buddy of mine. Yeah. Boy, this thing's got a lot of work going on on it. Uh, well, that's obvious. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this in a little more detail. Let's start under the hood. Tell me about the mural, because when I looked under there, the detail is killer. What are we looking at, first of all? So this mural, it's a, it's a mural off of the, the famous singers that passed away at, at the age of 27, the infamous 27 Club. Okay. So we initially started, you know, from the factory, didn't come smooth like that. So right. uh, my guys at my shop, we fully welded it shut, body worked it, and then I okay. sent it off to the, to the airbrusher. Yeah. So we did the mural. I chose all the reference pictures. Right. And he painted it and striped it to match with the, with the outside of the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. So who are some of the artists that we see here? So these are the uh, Jim Morrison. Okay. Janis Joplin. Yeah. Amy Winehouse. Yeah. You know, of course, Jimi Hendrix. Right. Valentina Lizalde, a very famous corrido singer. Yeah. And then Kurt Cobain from uh, Nirvana. Oh, at 27? Yep. No way. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, you learn something new every oh, yeah. day, dude. Mm -hmm. That is killer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this is... This is killer, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, so what Good about interview. the LS, though? Mm -hmm. I mean, this, it it looks like it was born to be there, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so this, uh, we, this is uh, a lot of after, aftermarket uh, conversion kits, so pretty much you can adapt this LS more to just about any car now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, it looks like it was born to be there. Mm -hmm. I like the the way you did it. You know, you got the custom aluminum radiator, mm -hmm. right? And the custom fan. valve covers. I fully molded yeah. them, took the Corvette emblems off put the uh, right. Rivera emblems on there so okay. even there's a lot of work on those valve covers yeah oh yeah no I can tell yeah because mm -hmm. normally they, they would say Corvette yes. on them mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and I see the brake boosters and I noticed you got the hydraulics on mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah okay all right well now let's move around all right now this is the first year of the Riviera? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and from the front, I actually modified this one as well. The custom hideaway lights, the whole nine. Uh, the 1963 and 64 okay. both came with the headlights on the grill. So I'm a big fan of having a phantom grill. So I got a custom grill made mm -hmm. and I relocated the headlights on the side to where on the 65, the clamshells would be on there. Right. So a lot of people actually think this is a 65, but it's a 63 Riviera. So mm -hmm. you relocated the headlights? Yes. yes. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And now... Let's look at this paint because this right here, this is classic oh, yeah. lowrider right here. It definitely is. Mm -hmm. Now, give me an idea how many hours you got in paint. Just on this paint job on the outside, I got easily around 300 hours just on the outside. Yeah. But after a while, you lose, you lose track of time. And especially with my car, so I don't really keep record of how many hours, but easily right. it was like 300 hours just on the outside. And now, when you're laying these lines down, do you have to do each layer at a time? Yes, I mean, each, each layer is done individually. So every graphic that you see, I tape up individually okay. and frame individually. So that's why you got different different bases. You got the metal flake here. Yeah. You got a solid silver base here. Right. A more coarse metallic right there. So it's it's got a lot of different textures on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Dude, this is sick. Thank All right. Well, tell you what. Hey, let's go. Let's look inside. Mm -hmm. All right. Now. Clearly, this is not a stock interior. Nope. So <laughs> tell, me, tell me a little bit about what we got going on here inside because I noticed I see you got a display there and it looks like that's Dakota Digital. Yes. I mm -hmm. see the half wrap and a, and a yeah, I got uh, the billet, yeah, billet steering wheel, billet steering yeah. column. Uh, California Upholstery did my uh, interior. So okay. initially started with a stock Riviera, you know, door, original door panels, original seats. Right. But I gave them free reign to do whatever they want. All I told them is I want everyone to know that California Upholstery uh, yeah. did this car right here and they okay. did a signature style you know uh, interior job and i couldn't be happier okay all right now i noticed uh, on the outside we'll like kind of bouncing around a little bit but who did the pinstriping did you do that as well yes i did the striping as well all right and, and it's all hand done 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So look at that. Get a close up of the pinstriping right there. Look at that. And dude, that is smooth, man. Oh yeah. 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 Many different sessions of clear coat, blocking it down, sanding it to be able to get the, that flat finish on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how about let's check out this trunk here. Now. That's almost big enough for a set of golf clips. I know. Right? I'm, I'm guessing you got all the juice and the batteries and everything yes. tucked under there, right? So I, I had California upholstery design it to where I have everything uh, hidden. So I got my two pumps, four batteries all hidden. I okay. wanted to uh, keep it a nice, you know, classy look on it. All right. And we did the same thing as well in the trunk. We fully molded it shut and then I sent it out to get the murals done as okay. well. All right. Now I'm noticing there's a few more pictures on here. Mm -hmm. So is this... Who, I mean, who do we have here so as these, far as these, artists? These are all the famous singers from, from the 27 Club. So typically, uh, you know, when people bring up the topic 27 Club, they always yeah. talk about the same six singers, you know, yeah. Amy, Amy Winehouse, Kurt Cobain, right. Jim Morris, and Janis Joplin. Uh, but I wanted to include a couple more uh, lead singers that people don't normally hear about. Okay, so like I got, who, like you know, I got Robert Johnson on there, uh, Mia Zapata. She's a very famous uh, grunge singer from okay. Seattle as well. Right. And uh, Linda Johnson, you know, Fat Pat, D. Boone from the Minutemen. Uh, okay. Robert Johnson and uh, Rod, Ron Pickman from the from the Grateful Dead. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, see, hey, every day's a school day, man. Oh, yeah, you're teaching yourself, something, it man. It definitely is. <laughs> All right. Hey, dude, this has been phenomenal, man. Thanks for taking the time. No I appreciate Thanks you, for, you, brother. Thanks for having me. Hey, mm -hmm. you know what? Thank you guys for joining us here at the San Diego International Auto Show. We will see you guys next time on Gas and Go with Snow. Thanks. Mm -hmm.